This video is powered by the pros at Pascal Air Plumbing and Electric. Arkansas owned, Arkansas operated. GoPascal.com. 32 points. I know it's a career high for you, just, but you only took 14 shots. A lot of guys take 25 or 30 to get that. It's just, could you talk about getting the 30 point club and, and just how efficient that was for you today? Um, it felt good, you know, getting back to myself, you know, from my third game, man, just play my game, let it come to me. If it was scoring or getting my teammates involved, I just do what I had to do to get the win. You had five assists, I think four, I'm at least three, but I think four were alley oops. It's, and I know you've been on the scout team a lot, waiting to get eligible. Um, is that something you've worked on a lot in practice, or is that just something that comes pretty natural to you, the alley oops? It just comes natural, you know. Like even from my last school, you know, I was a lot of alley oops I threw. I just make the right play if it's a bounce pass alley oop, just get my teammates involved. Did you know uh, you hit 30 on that three? Pretty good way to do that. Uh, did you know that was 30 when you hit it? No, I was just celebrating with my teammates after, you know, hitting the three, making sure we win. What do you think about getting 32, just your third game in as a Razorback? It's kind of crazy. You know, it's my career high. You know, had 27 before, but I never had 30 in college. It's, it's kind of good. Keon, when you look at what you've done in three games now, only three games in tonight, but the double figures the last game, did you have any idea if you got cleared that you would be having this kind of impact this soon? Did you feel like you could do it? Um, I felt like I could just, I thought I was going to get in and just play the right way. I didn't know if it would be 30 minutes, 20 minutes. I just felt like when I got in, just do the right thing to help us win. Follow up to that. How much, I mean, obviously you were with your team. What do you think you're bringing to the court that's changing the dynamics, especially the ball movement, pace, and spacing on offense? Um, I, You know, I can score, but I feel like I do better when I get my teammates involved and score, do both at the same time. But I feel, I make, it makes me more happy when I get my teammates involved. I know you, you haven't been around, but this is usually the time of year where Devo starts to heat up. He had three threes today to, to go along with six boards and six assists. Just what'd you make of his impact? You know, that's like my big brother, you know, so I look, that's what I look after, you know, I was working out with, he took me under his arm. So to see him finally getting back to, you know, his self is amazing. Keon, there were a lot of whistles tonight. Is that something y'all picked up on pretty early? I mean, you had 17 free throws yourself. Is that something that was addressed? And, and did you feel like you took advantage of that? Yeah, coming into here, we got oh, we had zone one points. You know, that's paint points. You know, we got to have 50, our 50% 50 of our points have to come from the paint. So we have to keep attacking and attacking. You know, our coach always told us they don't have no shot blockers. So we got to attack the rim. That's what we did. Devo was like a almost a 42% three-point shooter in SEC play last year. How much does he help this this offense if he kind of can not say get over to 40% again, but consistently, you know, knock threes down? If Devo when Devo get the heating up and hitting, it's gonna we're gonna be scary. You know, he our leader, you know, that's who we look for. He our playmaker, you know. When it come down to clutch time, we give him the ball, you know, to make the right play and it's gonna be good. Yeah, just the, the pace is really kind of – it feels like you guys are playing a lot faster, especially since the second half of the uh, the Abilene game. Just how much does that kind of have a positive impact on the entire team when you guys are running up on the floor and playing with good pace and transition? You know, when we play fast pace, it's harder for teams to get back on the defense, so we got to keep attacking and pushing the pace and not try to slow the ball up to let them set their defense up. You know, the the half-court lob to, to Trevin, is that something you guys have ever, you know – even tried practiced and uh, when you let it go did you feel like it was good yeah I feel like every lob I throw to him is gonna be good you know he could go get it from anywhere so I knew coming here me and him was gonna be lob partners I guess 109 I think I got it right 196 points combined I mean a lot of times you don't see that in an NBA game what, what what was it like being involved in a game that was that high scoring it was crazy you know it's fast paced up and down and we just had to keep getting stops and stops oh my god my yeah. bad, my bad. Boy. It comes down to who got the most stops, and we did tonight. And, and then, you know, I know you guys have been practicing two days. It's not like you've been, you know, sitting back. But but to not play a game in nine days, you guys really didn't look rusty at all. I mean, you shot well. You didn't turn the ball over much. Just what 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 what'd you think of how you all played coming off nine days between games? Devo, maybe you could take that too. Oh, okay, okay. I feel like we did good. You know, we came back early, got in practice hard, and our scout on the team, we did very good. You know, we did it well, practicing hard, and it paid off in the game. And then now you got an SEC play. I know you got another week, so probably maybe more two days. I don't know. what Do you feel like this team's round into shape for SEC, start SEC play? Yeah, this one, the real season started. You know, we zero on zero. 
now it's time to show people who we really are. Devo, you know, last year you got off to a slow start from three, and then you shot it really well during conference play and uh, got off to a slow start this year. You knocked down three today. I guess what what is the secret? Was it just reps in the gym, or, or did you have a feeling that this was coming? Yeah, um, reps in the gym, like you said, um, continue to stay in the gym. Um, haven't been shooting it much, you know what I mean? So um, just trying to find my spots and, and make the right shots, and when I do shoot, make sure I'm shooting it with confidence. You know, how good did it feel, you know, today, just make, especially the, those three threes in the first half? I mean, what kind of was going through your mind to kind of, you know, start getting the, the shooting rolling? I was so happy because, I mean, shoot, uh, just, I mean, trying to find the floor of the game, of course, and then um, not just this game, but um, previous games as well. It was just me, myself, trying to find the flow of the game, but also, like, play the right way and make sure my teammates are okay um, on the court with me. Um, seeing those shots go in felt good, but felt even better us winning the game, so. Keon said, uh, called you kind of like his old, your, your, his older brother a little bit. I mean, what did you see from him in the preparation for his debut? You know, that kind of has translated to him having such a big impact now that he's eligible to play. Uh, I already knew Keon was good. Um, when he first came here, the first day I seen him at the gym, I said, you know, I, I seen you when you was playing with the family. This was his AAU team. So um, I've seen him pre um, prior to coming here. Um, playing A basketball and then a little bit at Washington. Um and so I knew he could play. And and that wasn't a problem for me. Um and I know coach know he can play. So um you see coach give him the freedom man. and like he said, like I try to lead lead him, lane blocker, those type those guys in the right direction so they can be able to succeed longer longer in the program. You know what I mean? Because um it's kinda hard uh, playing for Coach Much um one he won so much at one time. And so um I think they're doing a pretty good job, man. You see tonight, Keon proving that he's able to play with the best of them. Oh, yeah, I get, you know, Keon's obviously a talented guy. He had a good year last year, but third game in, 32 points, only 14 shots, got a lot of free throws. Just what what do you thought about his impact? He's scoring, you know, 30 points his third game in. Uh, um, I don't know if he brought it up to y'all. We was in the locker room before the game. I said, feeling like a day, like, oh, you went crazy or when you went um, against Oregon. And so, um, career high for him, and I'm happy for him. Um, he works hard. He's been more. He's been in the gym way more um, since since he's been playing. And so, um, I love seeing him in the gym. And as long as he continue to work, uh, these games gonna go by fast for him because, like, he he missed a few, so it's it's kind of hard. But once he get in the flow, I think he continue to play the way he's playing. I know you guys have been practicing a lot, but still nine days between games and the score 106 points, shoot as well as you did. Didn't have many turnovers. Just looked, you know, pretty sharp. I thought. What What'd you think? Uh, how well you guys played coming off a lengthy break between games? Yeah, um, I think we prepared really well uh, for this team uh, with those nine days being able to prepare for um, a team like this coming in here, um, knowing that they, they went into Lexington and beat Kentucky. Uh, it's a great win for us. And um, like like I said, overall, I think we was prepared and we just had to show it. And I think we did pretty good doing it. Um, a few um, miscues here and there, but um, we got the job finished. Devo hustle plays seem tonight to really be stepped up with you guys diving on the floor, 50-50 ball, offensive glass, turnover game. What has that been an emphasis or a focus in practices? Because it seems like that might be where the team needed to make the biggest strides. Oh uh, yeah, sure. Um we knew that team was a, a gritty team. Um Wilmington, they are a really gritty team. And so we knew they like to get on the floor for and get loose balls and things like this. So we knew we had to do the same. Coach Must brought it up all week. And so um, we knew if we won the 50-50 balls and then tried to keep them off the offensive boards and we tried to get offensive rebounds. Well, we'd be in a pretty good position to win. Also, this is a team that does the submarine substitution. They go 10 deep. <laughs> Not necessarily Must's style, but you guys have had to do that all year. And yeah. he, I think he kind of sent a message that he'll match his with theirs. Yeah. Did y'all talk about that at all, or did you notice it? Ah, yeah, we talked about it. Uh, we talked about hockey uh, hockey exchanges all week. And so we knew they were going to do it. We watched film on them. We knew they did it around the three-minute mark. And so we told those guys on the bench, be ready. And they was ready. So it um, wasn't a surprise for us. The Kobe fans bring some good energy today. Uh, yeah, I like it. And they come through a Christmas gift, yeah, I guess. Sure. No, I actually been had them. Just, just pulled them out. So. All right. There was a, uh, I think there was a, a sequence in the second half where you did some defensive anticipation, came up with a steel transition bucket. Not to say that you, like, haven't been who you have been, 
Um, but that looked like vintage. You did that feel that kind of feel yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, for sure. And and like I've been telling this team, like we've been struggling defensively, but if we play together defensively, we could be much better, you know. And so, um, credit to my team. I mean. As long as we continue to get better as a team defensively, I think it'll help me and the other guys individually as well. Um, and we can all, we can all get steals like that all the time and be able to play in the fast break game. And I think we're pretty good at that. Yeah, Diva, you had six assists. What did you think about your assist? And, and obviously Keon had five, I think, and four alley-oops. What did you think of your assist and his assist? I think his a little better. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, like you said, he had crazy some crazy oops. I think one of them hit the backboard of the TV, and he still dunked it. So, I mean, um, I take I take you know, oops over my little my little assist. Okay, <laughs> and then I know you got another week before the next game, but you know, SEC play starts. Auburn's have, off to a really good start. Just do you feel like you guys are round into SEC uh, readiness? Yeah, I think we're getting better every single day. Um, I keep telling these guys as long as we keep continue to come in practice with great energy. Um, ready to practice and wanting to get better, 1% better every single day. I think um, the sky's the limit for this team. You know, um, like like we have struggled, that's fine, but we got to continue to push and SEC haven't started. So we know that's going to be a challenge, not for just, just us, but every team because the SEC is tough, you know. So um, we're just ready to battle and we know we're going to pull these games out, the ones where we, we, we are being ready for and shoot, we ready. I think we are. Um, hopefully, uh, we continue to prepare the way we prepare for this game, prepare for the, um, the next game like we did for this game, and I think we'd be successful. And I think J Jalen Graham, I think that was a season high, 16. Mm -hmm. um, what did you think of his game? Oh, great. Um, being uh, being aggressive like he is, um, can't say no more. Um, I know Jalen Graham can score the ball all around the rim, and so um, we give it to him, he, he, he scored. So it's not a surprise for um, me or the team. Bet Online is your number one source for all your betting needs. Get the latest odds, lines, and matchup reports for baseball, boxing, golf, and more. Bet Online continues to be the fastest and easiest way to place your wagers, including live betting and your favorite casino and card games available to play right from your phone. Head to the website or use your mobile device to sign up today and get in on the action. Remember to use our promo code BELIEVE. That's B L E A V. For your 50% welcome bonus on your first deposit. Bet online where the game starts.